Hello, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic, and I hope you guys have had such an awesome week so far. We are, It is hump day. Um, that means we're just over the hump of the um, week. Get ready for a weekend that's coming up soon. All right, today is February 24th, 2021. Let's just go ahead and jump right in with what we're going to do today. So, we are still working on um, central message, and our central question is, how can I determine the central message of a fable, folktale, or myth? Today, what we're going to do is we're just going to re review some vocabulary for folktales and central message. Um, we went over them yesterday. We're just going to keep going over them today. We're going to read a folktale called True or False, and then we're going to fill out the graphic organizer for Somebody Wanted But So Then, um, to recount the story, to summarize the story. Then we are going to come up with a central message together, and then you're going to have a chance to try this on your own. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Fair warning, this might be a fairly quick video, but that's absolutely okay. As long as you're focused and you are paying attention, you will do great on this assignment. So what is a lesson? Other words that we call this is we sometimes call it central message. Sometimes we call it moral. Um, but a lesson is what the story can teach us. So, for example, um, in Little Red Riding Hood, she learned she learned not to talk to strangers. And she, the way she learned was absolutely terrible. She she almost got eaten, or in some versions of the story, she did get eaten by the wolf and the um, the lumberjack man had to save her. So here are a few examples of some lessons that you might learn in some uh, stories. Do your best. Be nice to others. Tell the truth. Never give up. Be a friend. Be brave. Hard work pays off. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, never break your promises. Always stay loyal. All kinds of those uh, lessons. So a folktale that we'll be reading today is usually a, fict it's a fictional story that teaches a moral or a lesson. It's usually a longer story with a problem and solution, and sometimes it has good versus evil characters. Uh, whew, sorry, I keep yawning. One of the ones that I like to bring up all the time is the story of the three little pigs. Um, we know that the good versus the evil in one of the versions was that the pigs were the good and the wolf was the evil, and they were going against each other. So we're going to read this story. Let's look at some words we need to know um, before we read so we can figure out what they mean. So we're going to look at fuss and disbelief. So let's just go ahead and start reading. Uh, pointer. True or false? A folktale by Myanmar, Burma. There once were three poor old brothers who lived to tell tall tales. They traveled throughout the countryside telling wild stories. They always claimed that their tales were true, but no one ever believed them. One day, the three brothers met a rich traveler. The man was dressed in fine clothes and wore shining jewels. The brothers wanted his things. Let's ask him to play a game. Each of the four of us will tell a tall tale of a past adventure. The rule that if anyone doubts the truth of another, the rule that, the rule is that if anyone doubts the truth of another's story, he, may, he must become that person's servant. The man will never believe our stories. Getting him to doubt our stories will be like rolling off a log. Um, he will have to become our servant. The others liked this plan. They did not want to be a servant, but they wanted the man to find things. The man agreed to the game. The, brother, the first brother told a story of how he had climbed a tree and could not get down, so he ran to a nearby cottage and borrowed a rope. The second story, the second brother told of jumping into a, the stomach of a tiger who wanted to eat him. I made such a fuss that the tiger spit me out, he said. The third told um, of helping the village fishermen. He said he turned into a fish and jumped into the river. There, he turned back into a man and killed the big fish that were eating all the little fish. The rich man listened to the three tales without saying one word of disbelief. Then he told his story. He said he was searching for three servants who had run away from him. You three must be the ones I'm looking for, 
he said. The brothers looked at him with alarm. If they doubted him, they must become his servants. That was their rule. But if they said his story was true, they would become his servants too. They said nothing. Finally, the man agreed. Finally, the man said that he would let them go if they promised to never tell tall tales again. The brothers agreed and kept their promise. So let me tell you in case you were understand, uh, misunderstanding what this story was about. So these three brothers, actually, we're going we're gonna to summarize. So let's look at this graphic organizer. Somebody wanted, but so then. Also, if you're watching this video, um, our code word for today is naps. We love naps. Go take a nap after you finish all of your work. All right. So somebody, who is the main character or the person in the story? So there were three, actually. There were, well, there was really four of them. Uh, no, there was three. The three, four brothers were the main characters of this story. And what did the character or the person want? What did the characters want? They met a rich traveler, and the man was dressed in fine clothes and wore shining jewels. The brothers wanted his things. It says flat out, So the brothers wanted the things from the rich man. They wanted the nice clothes and the jewelry. But what was the problem? The problem was that they could never get these things from the man. So the man, the problem was that the man was not just going to give up the things. So... So we have somebody who were the main character. Somebody wanted, but so then. We're on so now. Um, how did the character or the person try to solve the problem? So the, the three poor brothers, this one's going to be a lot. The three the three poor brothers made a kind of like a bet that they would each tell a story and if the man doubted anything they said then he would be their servant. The man agreed to this bet all right so the man is like okay bet um i i'm absolutely fine with this bet let's let's do it and so they were like okay um the the three poor brothers each told their stories and the man was like cool yeah that happened yeah absolutely sure yeah i get it but so the the man told his stories and he was he was like, so you three boys must I'm I'm looking for three servants that escaped from me. And so obviously you three boys are my servants. And the three boys, they couldn't say, No, we're not your servant, because that would be doubting and they would become servants anyways. But they also couldn't say, Yes, we're your servants, because they would also become his servants. So he sort of trapped them in um, he caught them in a lie. So what was the resolution? What was the outcome of this story? So when the three when the three poor brothers were caught in a lie, the man decided to let oh I can't type them go. But only if they promised to never tell tall tales again. And so now we need to ask ourselves, what was the central message? What was the lesson that the author was trying to teach? What was the lesson that maybe the characters learned? What was the lesson that 
um, the author was trying to portray to us um, with this story. Well, we know that the characters learned that they shouldn't tell tall tales because, you know, getting caught in a lie is, is terrible and you might not find a way out. So I'm going to say that that is pretty much the central message with, uh, it's the same central message that we, hang on. Yeah, it's the same central message that we learn. So we learn the central message of this story is that you should not lie because you might get caught and not be able to escape the consequences. Because the man, he did not have to let them go. They made a bet. It was fair bet. And they couldn't, he, he didn't have to let them go. But he did, so they got to escape the consequences. But sometimes if you're lying and your parents are like, come on, just tell me the truth. Um, it's going to be worse if you're lying to me. And you're like, no, I really didn't do it. Um, you're not going to be able to escape those consequences. They already gave you a chance to get out of it and you continued your, your lies. So, um, you're not going to be able to escape those consequences. So today, when you get into Canvas, you're going to be doing an assignment called Country Mouse, City Mouse. You read the directions. You are going to read Country and City, Country Mouse and City Mouse. You're going to answer this um, uh, graphic organizer with somebody wanted, but so then you're going to fill in the central message, and then you're going to type today's code word. After you're done with that, you're going to hit the submit button and your teacher will be able to give you some feedback for today. All right, boys and girls, have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye.